everyone doing? Thank you very much for stopping by the channel. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. I will really appreciate that. And if you like the video, make sure that you slam that like. Um, the channel will really appreciate that. This video will be a really quick one. We are going to be cooking some spaghetti. Just a simple, simple, uh, not even really a recipe, but just a, a weeknight type of thing if you don't have much time. So sit tight and we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video. Yo, what's up y'all? I'm about to cook something for y'all. We are, we are gonna be doing some spaghetti tonight. We got some meat right here we're gonna be using. So we're gonna pretty much throw it in the pot, throw some seasoning in there. And we're doing a quick spaghetti tonight. We're doing a two special. So we're gonna be using some of this ragu chunky sauce with the mushroom and green pepper. Thanks for stopping by. A little colder than I like it, but we're gonna go ahead and start it. Trying to cook this food really quick. It's really rich red flavor on this, man. Look at that. You see how rich and red it is? I got meat going on the floor. I got to clean up. I think that's going to be enough of what I'm doing tonight. Alright. So now we're going in with the Italian seasoning. Probably put like that much in there. And I guess we go, we lose a little bit of the flavor, especially the saltiness when we go ahead and um, uh, drain the meat. Most of the time I usually cut up like onions and garlic in the beginning. But I don't think I'm gonna be eating too much of this. And the ladies that I live with, they don't, they don't care for a lot of the shit that I like. So we'll just go ahead and throw some of that in. Won't go too crazy with it. And we'll come in with some of that garlic salt. Dash that in there. We'll add some more salt at the end if we want to, but we will... Keep it G with that. That garlic sauce smells so awesome right now. I love working in the cast iron. My favorite pot, man. I wash it and put it back to work down there every day. Or every day I cook anyway. <laughs> Alright, so it's still browning up. We still got a little ways to go. The uh, cast iron is doing its thing, giving me a nice cook on this meat. If you cook with the cast iron, go ahead and type cast iron in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. You're cooking with a streamer, baby. At this point, we're just moving around, making sure nothing gets too hot. But at the same time, cooking everything that we're trying to cook. But it really does have a good smell. Um, the garlic salt and that that that, that you can you can smell that um, aroma from that Italian seasoning in the air. Shit makes me want some wine or something, man. Woo! Nothing like some cheap wine. Woo! All right. All right, so now we're done with this part. We're gonna go ahead and take it off, and we are going to drain it, and we're gonna uh, put it in a different container or pot, mix it up with some sauce, and that should be that should be good. All right, so I got my strainer, and we're gonna take it over here. This that old handy dandy man. I've been working with this thing for so long. I love it. I love it. Just put it right on your hand. I wish I had two, but since I don't, I'm going to have to use something like a cloth or something to hold this other side. So we take this. Let's go ahead and shake a little bit. Get a good drop. Bam. 
I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat the rest of that out the bottom. I'm gonna eat the rest of that out the bottom. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it. Ugh. And now we're about to take it back to the pot. <clears throat> so we gonna go ahead and drop it in there. Wow. That. Time to take our ragu. Mm. So my mama used to do. She's the. Keep it simple. Put that in there. I gotta turn that burner on. All right. So now we mix it in. We let a little heat get to it. Um, we don't need much. I got it on really low setting. I wish I had some mushrooms to add to it. That'd be so dope. But it really is not saucy at all. I probably need some more sauce in here. Let me see if I got another pack in the uh, pantry. And yes, I do. So we will make this uh, a little better, right? Let's see how much that looks like. I got more meat, so I can always take the rest of the meat and use it for tomorrow. What's wrong? You don't need that right now, Draven. He's trying to show me something. So we'll let the heat get to that a little bit. That looks like a good mixture, maybe a little more. Don't want it to be too saucy and don't want it to be too not saucy. I want a perfect or a good, a good balance between the two. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and get our noodles together and let this do what it does. So I gave it a little taste, and of course, a lot of the salt is gone after the uh, the drain, a lot of the pepper's gone after the drain. So we'll replenish that. A little more of my Italian seasoning in there, not too much. We'll lay off the garlic powder and just go with the garlic salt at this point. A little onion powder, especially since we ain't got no onions in it, real onions. We'll let that do what it's doing. We'll see what that tastes like in a minute after it gets a little bit of that heat on it and kind of melts there in the pot. All right, look at what we got now. Ah, we got the water getting hot. Uh, go ahead and season the water up with some of this. Sea salt. Alright. Mix them up a little bit so the thing don't get stuck together. Let them run by 10 minutes. Let that water get nice and back to that 212. Alright, at this point we still got about seven minutes left to the process. Um we just keep on mixing them around. Keep the noodle from sticking. So let's go ahead and dump it out. Oh my goodness. So all the water goes first. That's cool. So then what I do is I take this. We got a lot of steam to deal with. And being fucking heated up by that steam is no fun. So there we go. Hello noodles. Then what I do is take a little bit of this extra, extra virgin olive oil. Just a little drizzle. Nothing too much. Uh, if it ever comes, there goes that little dribble. So you gotta keep a nice little drizzle on it, yeah? Eh, not too much, not too much. Keep it from sticking together. Grab my little handy dandy, dip it, dip it. Do that to it. Woo! My son's in the background saying USAA loves that commercial. When we watch sport, they, they show that commercial so many times. He loves it. USAA. Mix that around. And we take it from here. Let's let's follow. Let's do a follow shot. We'll follow the noodles to his next destination. We'll pop it there. And now we're about to plate it. It was an awesome ride. 
Now, another thought on the sauce to finish it up. What I did was add a, a good bit more seasoning, season it to taste. Same thing when you make your own food, season it to taste. I like mine very seasoned. Some people like it less seasoned. I like a lot of seasoning, so I always gotta, even if I'm using a recipe, I usually amp up the seasoning in it to, uh, to my taste buds liking, because I like a lot of flavor. I don't do the bland food. All right, so there you have it. Quick and easy spaghetti. Um, something I would say mainly made for like a weeknight and you don't want to put a whole spaghetti sauce together and um, <clears throat> start from scratch. So this one right here gets you right into it. Really easy, basically just pop and pour some sauce over the meat, cook the noodles and voila. You know what I'm saying? And it tastes pretty good. As long as you, you take your time you find what spices you like and put those spices in there to really kick up the flavor of that sauce. And spaghetti, of course, goes with a good red blend, even a cab for me. Um, this red blend, really smooth, um, a lot of flavor in it. So I really enjoyed that with the spaghetti. And that's about it. Thank you very much for checking out the video and I'll see you next time.